Okay, so next we apply the next sleeve. Now the other thing about these leaves, when we're putting them on, you kind of want them flat. You don't want them curled up. See how this one's curled up? We'll go in later and we will fix that once we get there. But for now, you kind of want them to be flat, so I applied a little bit more glue um, just so they're flattened out. So, and then you just keep going. And you can do your leaves in different, you know, different directions. I tend to like mine to go outside of the frame. No, it just depends on your eye and what you like. So I just place it there. I figure out, okay, I like that. So take a little hot glue. And you don't need a lot of glue. These leaves tend to stick down pretty good on their own. All right, let's see, there we go. And then I'll just go in, put just a small dollop on top of the leaf in front. Not a whole lot, because you want to have that movement and that texture. If you just glue everything down, then it's all flat. We don't want it to look flat. So there we go. And we just keep going. And don't worry about these little hairs. I tend to pull them off in process, but once you're all done, you can go in and pull them, or you can use a dryer, actually, a hair dryer, and it'll get rid of them. So like I said, once again, we're gonna lay this one down and see how we like it. I kinda like that. Okay, just apply some glue. Now another great tip for doing projects like this that I do is I will lay it out first and see how I like it and see what adjustments I can make. Um, you know, just in the event that I don't like something, I'm not stuck permanently with it. So I will tend to just lay it out, do a dry layout first and then go from there. Sometimes I'll take a picture of it even to see if I like it. Now see, I'm gonna go with the next leaf. So that's, that's another great tip is just do a, a dry run as I like to call it, where you just lay things out you don't attach anything, you just lay it out, see if you like it, if you don't like it, what adjustments you need to make, and you're not committed to it. And the other great thing about my projects that I do is I have a hard time making decisions on stuff and sticking with it. I'm constantly changing things up. So I try to do things that are not permanent. So everything I do, I can easily just take apart and reuse it for something else just because I have a hard time <laughs> making decisions and sticking with something. I, I think I change up my, my decor quite a bit throughout the seasons. Everything's always evolving for me. Now, if you wanna keep things more permanent, that's absolutely okay. And then you just you know pack it away in a box and use it again next year. That's your option, okay? So we're just gonna keep going. Now I did count how many leaves I used on my other topiary, so this one matches. So I did use eight, so I'm gonna put eight leaves on this topiary. Uh, and, but sometimes your leaves are different sizes. So if you need to use extra, that's okay. You just never know with these leaves. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. You know, a couple inches or centimeters make a big difference sometimes. So I may get away with eight. I may have to add an extra leaf, which won't be a problem. You won't be able to really uh, tell. Let's see. Oops, moving out of frame here. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to do an extra leaf, which is okay. It's absolutely okay. So I'm just gonna put some glue down. Place my leaf. Now, with, I'm using uh, hot glue from Dollar Tree. It doesn't tend to get very hot or stick very hard. So if you need to, like I'm gonna remove this leaf here, you can easily, and it doesn't cause any damage to the paper. Which is a great thing about using Dollar Tree glue sometimes. It just it doesn't stick very hard. So that's that's a good tip to have. Okay. So and I pull that one off. I'm sorry, I'm adding the glue stick. I pull that one off so that I can 
position because I have an extra leaf here and see, okay. And this is why I say do a dry one and lay it out first. And another thing, if you do a dry run, just leave it there and then you can just kind of pick it up and glue it as you go. So I'm gonna just take that off, but we're gonna go ahead and apply some glue. Keep gluing. There we go. And you only have to hold it down for a couple of seconds. It doesn't take much for this glue to dry. So we're just gonna apply more glue. Did you see I overlapped on that leaf there? Just a smidge. Like I said, do you want some movement? So I'm just gonna put that leaf there. You don't want everything flat. So it's okay if you have some, you want things to ruffle up like that. I think it gives it more movement when you do it that way. Okay, so there you have it. Okay. And I added the extra leaf, but I don't really think you can see that big of a difference. I like these leaves. These leaves came with my magnolia bunches and I just cut the leaves apart. Okay. So now that we've done that, the next step is gonna be to go back to our container. Now my container is outside drying. I'm gonna go see if it's dry yet. Okay, so here's my container. And remember I said it's waterproof paint. So all I did was I took my brush and because it had a lot of drips on it, as you can see I have some drips because I had a little bit too much water in my brush, but that's okay. I, I like the character of it. It's fine. Just take your brush, slightly dip, like wring all the water out if, if it's not to your liking. Wipe it down. I took some of the paint off. No big deal. It's waterproof, it comes off. But I kind of like the drips, so I'm just gonna go with it. And the next step is we're gonna take our twine. Like I said, I got this twine from Dollar Tree. Take our twine. And I'm just gonna tie it off on one of the handles, just so I have a starting point. Now, if you wanna glue yours down, you can. I'm just gonna tie it off here and then grab the tail and you're just gonna start wrapping the top. And it doesn't have to be neat. Just wanna go around about three, four times, five times, however many you like. And the reason I grab the tail, as you can see, I wrap it and it's gonna hold it down. So I'm just gonna haphazardly wrap my twine. And I apologize I'm still trying to figure the kinks out of the video uh, and the placement of things. So, but you just want to wrap, and I'm just wrapping until I get it to the desired width on the trim that I want. And use your hands. Don't be afraid to move things around. So I'm just pushing that up, pushing it up, pushing it up. You know. There you go, because we want a kind of a rustic feel, so you're just kind of pushing it up. Now, if you want at this point, you can take your scissors, which I'm about to do, um, and trim this off. I'm going to trim it probably about, let's see, we'll go there. Now, you see there's a, that tail that's there. So what you want to do, put your scissors and cut that tail off. Um, I should have grabbed my sharper scissors, but you know, you know. Okay, you want to cut that tail off. Now, you want to take your hot glue and just put a little dab there and glue that down. Now, like I said, the Dollar Tree hot glue is great. It really doesn't get very hot, so if it gets on your fingers, like it gets on my fingers at times, you just rub right off. It doesn't burn you. Now, my other hot temperature glue gun, uh, it definitely will burn you, so you want to be careful when you're using hot glue. Okay, so now we have this wrapped. Okay, so the next step, this is the easiest part of it all. 
you just want to put some hot glue in the bottom of your tent. Just put some hot glue in. See hot glue. And all you're going to do is take your piece of floral foam, and you can use any size. And I'm just going to push it down in and glue that down. That's just so things aren't moving. So see, it's glued down. Quick and easy. This is just floral foam. I already had it. As you can see, it's got holes in it already. I use it for another project. You can get that at Dollar Tree as well. In the same section, you get the twine front. Okay? So the next step is you just fill it. Now, I'm using some of this grass that I already had around. If you want, you can use, and I'll show you in my arrangement here. You can use this type of grass that you can get at Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby or somewhere. Um, or you can use the moss from Dollar Tree as well. I had bag, two bags of this on hand, and I wanted the contrast between all the grass because a lot of my projects for spring have moss in them. So it's just I change it up and go with the brown moss instead of the green. So all you want to do, grab your container, grab your moss, and you just start breaking that moss up. Now, if you don't have a lot of moss, don't panic. Or if you don't want to use all of your moss, you don't have to. Just fill the bottom around the sides with some plastic grocery bags or scratch paper, you know, whatever paper you have hanging around the house. Just fill it in there as a filler, <clears throat> excuse me. And then you don't have to use as much of the, the grass. So, and it, it doesn't take much, see, I still have some left in my bag. I didn't use that much of it. And I, I'm like waste not, want not. So all of this you see down here, I will scoop it up and put it in my arrangement because I don't like to waste anything. So just pick that up, put it in there and you want to fluff it up a little bit because the fluffier it is the less you use as well so normally i would do this in a bowl and then you know just kind of separate it out in a bowl with your hands and then you can use it that way but if you just kind of fluff it up move it around you know you don't use as much and quite honestly there's not much in here just because it's fluffed so it hasn't gone down into the sides Okay, now, next step, you want to take your, your form here, you want to figure out, make a little hole in the middle, just so that you can see, and I'll show you, just so that you can see your floral foam, figure out where you want to put it, I'm putting mine in the middle, then you take some hot glue, put it on your stick, And then just shove it down in there. You just shove it in there, okay? There. And then all you do is cover that back up. Like that, okay? Now, what you wanna do, and you can do whatever you want. You can put Easter eggs in there for Easter. You can put uh, bunnies in there if you have little bunnies or you know whatever you want to do I have a couple of Easter eggs here I'll show you so you can do some little Easter eggs and have it you know little Easter decor there if you want um, or you can just fill it with fill it with flowers you know do different type of flowers in there and I usually I don't just stick the flowers in it's good just to place things and figure out where you want them before you commit. Um, so, fairly simple. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my flower here that I have. And if you'll notice, let me show you in the original. And this one, there's a leaf there. And all I did, take this, you want to bend it at the very top see like that so that I can stick it down in the floor foam and all I did was clip this with a pair of snips uh, some of these uh, florals are easy enough to cut with scissors or if you just bend back and forth enough it'll pop so don't feel like you have to go get extra equipment for that sometimes Dollar Tree will carry the floral nips that you can use to cut these off but you don't actually have to have that 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where I want to put it. So I know I want to put it off to the side. But I want to figure out, lay your, leaf, your, your flower down. I like to let my floral speak to me, like this one over here did. So I'll lay it down. I'll see how it falls, how it droops, okay? So I know that I'm, I like, I kind of like it. So I want to be able to see the inside. So I think I'm going to put it in this way. And all you do is you bend your little stick. Now, don't be afraid to open up your flowers. They won't break, at least they shouldn't, <laughs> if you flex them open a bit. So now what I want to do is I want to attach a single leaf. And to do that, I'm just going to see, I grabbed a leaf, I just want to see kind of where, you know, I think what I'm going to do is kind of twist this a little bit. And you can move the parts of your flower around a little bit, because sometimes when you get a flower from the store, they're not exactly the best, they just kind of look thrown together. So you can twist the different parts of it. So I kind of see how just twisting that slightly, that opened that up. So what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stick it in, and it's off in the side, like I said. Let's kind of play with it. There you go. Slide that forward. And I left the stem on because leaving the stem on allows you to decide, okay, kind of like that. So you can move it up and down if you leave the stem on. So now I'm going to take my leaf, and I'm going to, like I said, first figure out where you want things before you commit. That's the most important thing. And even still, if I don't like the placement, I can remove it. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a smaller leaf. Okay, so I grabbed a smaller leaf. See. They came from the same bunch, but you just have a small leaf. Now, if you want, you can do two leaves. I'm just going to go with one that's smaller um, and figure out where I want it. I just kind of want just a hint of a leaf to show there because you already have the leaf here. Now, if you don't like the height of your Tupperware, don't be afraid to kind of move it upward a little bit. You don't have to push it all the way down in. You can do it at different heights. Oh, look about some height. Okay. So. I'm going to take my leaf and apply a little glue. And then I'm just going to pull the leaves back and stick it in. Once you stick it in, that glue is going to grab and it'll stay. Now, once again, with the Dollar Tree hot glue, it doesn't stick very hard. So if you got to pull that leaf out of there because you don't like where it's at, you can. It won't hurt anything. It won't hurt your leaf. Like I said, these... Um, Magnolias, I think I got these actually at Walmart uh, last year, a few years ago, but they have some really pretty ones this year, uh, so don't, you know, try Walmart. Okay, so we have that done. And the next step is to create our bow. Now, you can do a number of things here to create your bow. One option, move it up there, see? One option with the bow, you can... Tie it onto the stick directly like you would tie in your shoes. I'm going to do a free freestanding bow and then I'm going to use some twine to close that bow off. So I'm just going to cut a strip of twine. I'm not really sure how long that is, but you don't need much. So I'm going to take my bow and a lot of florists are probably going to cringe at the way I'm about to do this. Uh, I'm not a bow maker. I'm horrible at bows. So all I'm doing is I'm going to twist, turn the back around, like that, just because I want the front of that bow to show. Once again, bring it to the back, and I'll turn it around and show you what I did here. And I just folded it on itself, like that. And I just fold it till I, till I get my Making a mess here. All right. And this ribbon holds its shape, as you can see, so it's not so bad to work with. But I want to make sure that my little tails are about the same length. So once you've done that, it looks like that. 
okay so now you want to just grab the middle fold it up and your toes are going to mess up that's okay once you've got it folded in your hand you can twist that little bow and turn those tails around all i'm doing is i'm holding it where i crunched it together see and it twists in my hand like that okay now what you want to do take your twine and when i'm able to do this i don't know if anyone else is but i can generally work with my finger is pretty good. Wrap that twine around that bow, bring it to the back, and I'll show you why I have the extra length on that in a second. You wanna just make sure it's tight in the front, lay it down. And at this point, you wanna make any necessary adjustments to make sure things haven't gotten too far out of proportion with your bow. Okay, now I'm just gonna tie it. I'm just going to tie that twine up. That twine is what is holding my bow together. So I'm just going to make one single loop there. Just pull, pull, oops, pull it tight. There you go. There's that twine. There's my little, there's the back of my bow. Turn it around. Like I said, now is the point where you want to make any necessary adjustments. You can pull and tug and make things even. Uh, make sure your tails look nice. Now, you wanna grab the back. You might wanna cut these a bit longer. I cut them a little short, but it's okay if you make your twine longer. Because what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab your container. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna tie this bow. And you might wanna pull your flower out before it. I did it after, I don't know why, I just kinda prefer to do it that way. You can do it in whatever proportion you want. Now, I'm just going to tie this little bow to this little stick. And you can do this before you put your stick into your bucket. You can do this before you put the flower in. It's totally up to you. There are no rules in crafting. You just kind of do it how you wish. So I just tied that on there. Now, I am going to take a little dab of glue. Put it there. And then I'm just gonna slide it up and tighten it. Just because I don't want it to slide down on me. Got a little glue on my finger, no big deal. So, and that glue will just hold that bow in place now. So there's my bow. Let's see if this one's here. Okay, so there's my bow. Now I might pull this up a little. And it will move. I know there's hot glue in there, but it will still, it'll pull out of the full foam. And then I can go in later and just glue it back in, no big deal. Okay, so there you have it. Now you just want to take your little bird. These little birds, you can find a Dollar Tree. You can use the butterflies they have. You can use whatever you want. Like I said, you can do Easter eggs in here. Um, pretty much whatever you want, you can put in here. So let me get that. Sometimes you just kind of reorganize things there. Take your bird. He's just sitting in there. He's not glued. He's not on a stick. If you want, you can put a skewer through him and stick him in. I just kind of sat him in there. I like just kind of sit things down. I don't necessarily like things permanently in place. So there you have it. Click. And easy. As you can see. That didn't take us very long. Now, like I said, uh, if you're gonna have these sitting on a table where people are going to see them, then you can do another layer of leaves around the back if you choose to do so, or you can do some of the moss or some of the floral um, on here. It's totally up to you. That's the other thing you can do. You can cover these in the Dollar Tree moss. You can cover these in this moss here if you like. You can cover them in whatever you want. It's absolutely user-friendly, whatever you would like to do, and whatever fits your decor, okay? The other option you have is, if you want, you can attach a little piece of uh, fishing twine uh, on a needle, sewing needle that you can't see, and you can hang this little fellow um, in here. All you do is take the twine and put a little dab of glue 
and hang it, you know. And then you have your little bird or your little butterfly floating. I like him just kind of sitting off to the side. So, okay. So that's our project for the day. And I thank you. And I appreciate you taking the time out to watch. And come back and see us again.